In this example, the H-alpha emission line in the hydrogen spectrum is 656.0 nanometers. We're measuring in the lab. Okay, so that's our reference. Lambda in lab. I just call it lambda lab. Reference, ah. This is our reference wavelength. Everything that moves with reference to this 656. So we have three stars. Star A have this, star B, and star C. Which star is moving fastest relative to Earth? So we're trying to find who is the fastest in the direction of motion. So for these stars, I am going to draw a graph, so-called, so we can see the shift. So let's put in the graph of wavelength. The reference is 656 nanometers. So that's going to be right... Uh, let's put it here like in the middle. This is the expected lab frequency. 656. Star A is 656.6. It's a little bit longer. So I'm going to put that over here. 656.6. This is star what ah? A. Star sub B is 655.9. Ooh. Shorter already. Okay, let's put it on the other side. Here. This diagram is not drawn to scale, FYI. This is star B. Wow, the decimals. Okay, I'm going to add the decimals. So we can make it standardized. Okay, star C is 656.4. A little bit. Not as far, but okay, sure. Let's make it pink color. Yes, yeah, put it here. 656.4. This is star C. All right. So you see that some at some points, your wavelength becomes longer. These are the ones that are red shifted. Um, and on the other hand, there is one star where the wavelength becomes shorter. 655 only. This is going to be blue shifted. Which means it's moving away. Okay, so we're going to find which one is faster. Sir. Why don't we make a table? So we have A, B, C. This is the star. And let's find the delta V. Uh, sorry, delta lambda. So the first star A, I'm just going to use blue for everything lah. Star A is 656.6 6 minus the reference 656.0. So delta lambda here is 0 0.6 nanometers. Positive. We do the same thing for the rest and we find that the delta lambda for all of them is negative 0 0.10 nanometers. Star C is also positive to the right. This is 0 0.40 nanometers. I should put the 6 zero. Okay. So, fastest. Uh, fastest. Okay, let's look at our equation again. What's the equation? Delta lambda over lambda equals to V over C. So fastest means the velocity equals to, this C is a constant, lambda is a constant. So velocity is proportional to the change in wavelength. Whoever have the largest change in wavelength, that person has, or that star has the largest velocity. So I would say um, star A has the largest velocity. So I'm going to write the answer. Star A has largest change in wavelength so fastest speed of if you want to say it's going away from us right longer red shift red shift means going away okay fastest speed of recession recession speed because red shift means receding blue shift means approaching coming towards you My head's blocking now. Okay, uh, B is what is the direction of motion for each of the stars? I think let's just expand this table a little bit. Zoop. Zoop. So positive means your wavelength got longer. You know, you see this one move to the positive. 
longer wavelength. So this is moving away. Receding. So also away. Away or receding, make sure you know how to use both terms. Why well, I cancel that? <laughs> ah, yes, highlight. So receding and away. Same meaning. Okay, receding is the official, more proper one. A star being, your wavelength became shorter, so that's a blue shift. So that means the star is approaching or moving towards us in on Earth. Okay, so that's how you can gauge the different, different uh, motion based on the shift in their wavelength compared to a reference wavelength. So all these are moving at a certain speed <coughs> with reference to the lab wavelength on Earth. Stationary. Okay, so I think that's all for this example. See you in the next few ones.